Hi, I'm Sonia. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I share with balloon artists how to put a positive twist in their life and share beautiful balloon art tutorials. In today's video, I'm sharing with you a design that I thought about during my three hour long drive last week to a birthday party. So during the drive, I was having a bit of a think about what the birthday boy's mother had told me was one of his favorite things, which is the game Among Us. So I decided to come up with a quick design that I could make when I was at the birthday party. And it is an Among Us one. So you can see he's got the little proton pack here at the back and we've got the visor. And just to help bring home that animation style of drawing, we have added a nice dark line to add a bit of interest around the visor area. To help conceal the mechanics of the legs, we have attached it into a wand, which makes it great for a little bit of role play where the Among Us or the imposter characters might be racing a bit around. But then later I had a bit of a think about it and also came up with another similar design, which it can be if the child does not want to have it on a wand. So if you'd like to learn how to make this super cute minion design, keep watching. Oh, and why not give him a small little crewmate companion? So this design uses 350 and 260 in its creation, but this one here I use a 160, and I just use the same bit of scrap of 260 from the bigger visor. Now, if you keep watching to the end, would you like to see me struggle with, I mean, have fun trying to make this design out of a 646? Boy, howdy, well, keep on watching and let's see if I can do it. <laughs> and here we are, let's get into it, how to make this Among Us design. All right, so the balloons that you're going to need to create the crewmate is a 350 in your choice of color, as well as a 260 for the handle of the wand. And then also we're gonna use some 260 in the white, and this happens to be a pearl white because that's all I have at the moment. But if you decide to just do the crewmate without doing the wand, then you're only going to need these two balloons. Oh, but there is also the outline color that you can use. The design looks great with or without it, so don't think it has to be on there. But I do think it's a great way to make the design pop a little bit more. Not literally. <laughs> Alright, so I am going to start with inflating the balloon for the crewmate. And if we leave a tail about this long of uninflated, that should be a perfect amount. I'm just going to pop it aside for a moment as I create the wand. The first twist is a petal twist and it is about three fingers wide. I just tend to keep going until I can't really get any more out. Usually they'll equate to around six. By placing the crewmate on top of this wand, I think it's a lot of fun for the role playing of running around and doing whatever crewmates do when they're on the ship. So I have taken my 350 and I'm just going to make it to, it's about this wide. It is a bit longer than my hand. I'm just twisting off that point there to give you an idea of the scale. Now let's join the two together. We can go ahead to remove this excess. Now, typically, I find the 350s might be a little bit harder to just break off, so I have my cutter just to help me do the job. Just tying off and securing. Just reducing down the air that is within the remainder, and I'm going to tie off. nice and secure there. See how firm and close that knot is against the rest of the balloon. That's really going to help the design by being a nice and tight knot there. Onto the scrap for the balloon that can do multiple visors because trust me if you do one of these like I found at the party there's going to be a few more requests. Taking the 260 I'm going to make a bubble that's about three fingers wide. And I'm going to then <laughs> oh my 
struggle with that one. <laughs> Let's save that for later. We're going to take these two ends now and tie them together. Notice how I have left a little bit of slack in here. That's good to help when we are tying it off. But I don't want to pull this too tight. But you can have a play around with it to see what you like the look of. And that's just the size that we have of the visor. I'm taking one of those ends from the 350, I'm just going to thread it through. And I'm going to tie these two together. The aim with these here is to try and keep them nice and close together. Position your proton pack so it is upright or vertical going up and down and then at the front we're having our visor in the horizontal. Now you could leave it at that which looks pretty nifty and crew matey. Alternatively, I'm just going to grab our maroon here because I've run out of black. So what? I'm just doing a little bit of puff inflation on this one. Reduce the length of this by squishing the air more towards the tail end if you aren't getting a big enough puff in there. <laughs> puff. But sometimes you know how it is, the air's a little bit slack and it doesn't feel tight and firm. So we want to try and avoid that. And you can remove that excess. I am now going to tie those two ends together. Get it to rest in there however it works best. Just tucking that underneath and inside the white part here. It's nice and connected. You could pass it in between the 350. Just if that's nice and securely around there, that friction hold should work perfectly for it. And there we have our super cute crewmate. But what if you want your crewmate to not be on a wand? What if we want to put it just um, with a couple of little feet? Well, we can. Let's have a quick look at that. Recently when I went down to Catherine, I had to do a little bit of improvisation because, believe it or not, I forgot my 350s at home. Ah, so I improvised by using these uh, twirly kind of balloons, which because we don't need to have a great amount of length in this area, I kind of got away with it. Um, they had a little bit of a wave to them, but I don't think the kids noticed. But it was fun improvising. Fun, you know what I mean uh, but being able to change up the design a little bit to suit the balloons that I did have so starting in a similar manner but what we're going to do this time is start off by creating two pinch twists for the feet I'm creating a bubble which is about as wide as it is long there nicely. <clears throat> Whoops, I accidentally lost the air out of this one. Trying to be fancy, why not tie the white one together after you've just threaded it through the proton pack? Again, keep them nice and close. I think the 
wider you can get that front looking the better and the more cartoony it gets and that lovely little uh, curved shape around the edges it can look really sweet so um, have fun experimenting a little with this design You could prepare these in advance as well if you felt you might be making a few of these. So it does start to get a little bit fiddly. And there we have our cute little crewmate without the wand. Why don't you give me a comment down below and let me know which you think is your favourite with the feet or on the wand. It'll be interesting to know. Now. You know what, I would think this could look great on a centerpiece design, however what I would definitely consider doing is making it longer, taking more advantage of the length of a 646 because I think it needs to be a bit more longer in the body. And I think I would definitely recommend instead of using the end of a 646, just use a quick link in the same colour because I think it just sticks out a bit too much, but that's me being a little bit picky. And that's it for this video so thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed learning how to do this design and in the comments below why not let me know which of those sizes was your favorite was it the little 160 was it the 350 or maybe even that <laughs> 646 but yeah so I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this and I hope you have lots of fun thank you for helping me put this positive twist in your life and I'll see you in my next video <laughs> bye hi there my name Hi there, my name is Sonia Boko and this is what I came up with. Now we have the... So if you want to learn... Not cool man. Not cool at all. So if these... Now if these, so if these crewmates are imposters, well this is a great way to get a little bit of extra reach in their, I don't even know what I want to say. Alright, so now we're just going to start, so with the three, with the 350 that we prepared earlier, position, we're going to start off by creating two we're going to start off this one by creating two pinch twists for the feet and in the comments below 